All right, well, welcome back. So I know in my last video, I kind of put out a teaser. It said I had something new coming along. Well, I got it into a position a couple of weeks ago, and I've just been putting off filming a video. So finally, I'm going to get that done. And here we go. This is what I've got going. So here it is. This is my newly acquired glass goose. I got it from an older gentleman who had been working on it for some time. No longer uh, get a pilot's license, and so he just wanted to see it done. So I took it on. I've been working on it. I have a partner in crime. He's right here. He's filling in a wire line we just added for get wires out to the wing for the strobe and the marker lights. So this is it. So since we've got it, we have installed the hydraulic pump for the uh, landing gears. We've got some of the tubes hooked up. We're waiting for some tubing that we were short to finish those connections. We built a gauge pod right here. Those are our um, hydraulic landing gear up, landing gear down pressure gauges. The pedals were already in, but you'll notice on these slots down here, they had heel brakes, which neither one of us were a fan of and so we took and built toe brakes on the pedals and installed the master cylinders back on the back on some on some tabs here also you'll notice we've got all of the cables hooked up and done for the rudder system and so it is functional now which is pretty cool Then where we've been doing most of our work is back here in the back. When we got it, the tail was not attached. So we have attached the tail, put uh, layers in here to tie it together, put layers underneath here to tie it together. There was a list of changes that were recommended to make the airplane handle and fly a little bit better. It has a step, you'll notice, right there. Well, one of the changes was this second step. So we just actually added it today. We've been working on it for a while, got it built. And uh, now we foamed it up under there, and we just put uh, fiberglass tie-in tape around the perimeter to hold that all in. Then back here, we've got the rudder all hooked up, and the pedal's all working. The linkages and stuff were already in for the uh, stabilizer. We're going to work on that and the elevator. We're going to work on that shortly. We are still contemplating the engine choice, working on that. We have had a couple of options that looked good at moments and then we're just not sure. So. We're probably leaning toward putting a Mazda rotary on it at this point in time. Uh, this is this side down where we just connected that. We've been working on landing gear. Notice we got all of our hydraulic and tubes in. We've got this one coming up and running across and down to our junction T over there. We're short three pieces to finish tying that system in. We had to make a slot through this a micro fillet right here in this foam to get the wires in because there were no wires going out to the wing for lights which we wanted to have so now we've got them coming out right here we've got a template made here we're working on some uh, wing tips probably just going to put a plate here kind of hangs down on the bottom flush on the top and then kind of has a wing the shape of the tail so it kind of matches from the research we've done and the thousands of pages of notes that this guy gave us from other people working on their airplane that was the best option so anyway that's it that's what we've been up to trying to get the last of the mechanical things done button up a few of the fiberglass 
areas that we have left to do. So we'll have this spot right here. Once we get done with all of the tie-ins and linkages in there, then we already have a, a cover for that made right here. You can see our access panels on each side. That will slide underneath the pylon right in under here and tie in to the back of the wing and across the top of here. Then we're going to put a modified bat wing kind of across from the point on here, across over, landed onto here to fill in that. Then we have to make a piece here that comes top and bottom, comes out to match our, our aileron and over to the pylon. So as soon as we get all of our wires ran and our tubes in, then we can start closing in those last of the fiberglass items. And then from then on, it'll just be body work. Anyway, so that's it. I'd like to have you follow along. If you haven't subscribed already, uh, do so. And we'll keep you updated on our project. We also appreci any, appreciate any ideas or tips that you may have. Uh, so leave those in the comments below. Anyway, so I'm really excited. It doesn't really change the direction I'm going with my other airplane build. I've still got that motor. Still working on it. The engineering is still happening. But we're going to spend some time on this one and get it ready to go and in the air. And then I'll go back to that project. Anyway, happy flying. We'll catch you next time.